if you want to no sell or purchase any security you should be having a separate dmat account under this system the bank will transfer the fund in batch wise so when the transaction happens at the same time the amount will be transferred immediately so it will not wait for every app and for every no bank account they will be having upi numbers hello my dear students i am your ajay sir faculty department of commerce and management vidyashram first year college mysuru a temple of excellence my dear students in today's session i am going to handle the subject called management of service for second sem bba third session the topic is banking and insurance let's go to the first slide my dear students in the previous session we were discussing about the traditional service offered by the bank and in this session we are going to discuss on recent development and also recent technological advancement whatever happened in the banking sector these topics we will discuss in this today's session now coming to the first point atm service this is the newly developed service in the year of 1987 the hsbc bank is the first bank which brought the atm facility to india or indian banking system so atm automated teller machine usually you people will call it as a all time money but it is not the actual name its name is automated teller machine atm is an electronic telecommunications device so what do you mean by that electronic telecommunication means so whatever the, the deposit you made or whatever the withdrawal you made in the atm so this information will be transferred to the bank through the satellites that's why it is called as automated electronic telecommunication device enables the clients to bank to perform the bank duties or also banks to perform financial transaction by using the plastic card a bank will provide a plastic card it may be atm card for the customer to use or to transact anywhere throughout the country by using the atm card so next one debit card and credit card facility so what do you mean by debit card so again the atm card we can call it as a debit card debit card is a if you have a debit balance it is it is a positive balance if you have a positive balance in the account, account that means you will deposit some amount for example i am getting a salary so that amount will be credit to the my account so that is my debit balance i can use my own money so through using the debit card i can withdraw the money or i can use the money for other purpose i can purchase any articles by using the debit card so debit card means using our own money credit card means it is a facility it is a extension facility given by the bank where we can withdraw more than our deposits that is called credit card so credit card is a credit facility given by the bank to its customers now debit card is an electronic card issued by a bank which helps to withdraw cash or pay for goods and services it can be used in atms point of point of sales terminals e-commerce and sites access etc so if you purchase any e-commerce site means what if you purchase any articles for example if you purchase any article in amazon or flipkart you can use the you no know, debit card or atm card and also you can purchase the article if you go to you no know, sh shopping mall or if you go to any showroom if you purchase any article any goods you can use the debit card and also if you want to withdraw if you go to atm center and we withdraw the amount which helps to withdraw the amount in the it may be malls or it may be atm centers and also in other parts of the country wherever you can take the your debit card and use it now what do you mean by credit card so credit card is a facility or the banks will extends credit facility for the customers so where you can use the extra amount or you can withdraw the extra amount by using the credit cards for purchasing the articles or goods in order to paying my, for example if i want to pay 1 lakh rupees so i'll be having only 75000 in my bank account so if i use credit card for remaining 25000 the bank will pay the 25000 and once i deposit the amount in the future then bank will get this 25000 and also there is a limit for usage of the credit card so after certain limit you cannot withdraw the more than the limit provided by the bank next one credit card is a card issued by a financial institution giving the holder an option to borrow funds usually at a point of sale for example so 
credit card you cannot use the credit card as debit card but only while purchasing the any articles or any goods you can use the credit card card by using the credit card you can pay for the showroom or you can pay in the any hotel or it may be restaurants or it may be you know flip cards or it may be amazon any point of sale you can use the credit card only for the purchase of the goods so debit card you can use the debit card in it and to withdraw the amount by using the debit card you can directly get the cash in your hand but credit card is a plastic currency and also debit card is also plastic currency but usually debit cards you'll get the actual cash by using the debit card or atm card you can go to the atm center and convert the amount or in the cash form but credit card you cannot take in the cash form you can only use to purchase goods and articles next one credit card charges interest and are primarily used for short term financing it may be within 3 months short term financing means what within 3 months there will be certain point of date the bank will provide so within that due date you have to pay back whatever the amount you have withdrawn using by the using the credit card next one tele banking what do you mean by tele banking see tele banking is a facility so using telephone we can call to the bank or it may be for the information for accounting balance or it may be any problem with the account to solve that account problem and also if you having any queries with the bank or it may be for example if you want to take a loan from the bank you can call to the bank and ask for the loan it may be interest rate or it may be other service or it may be payment if you have any you no know, problem with your cards to solve the problem you can go to the or you can call to the bank and solve the problem regarding your atm cards or it may be any other problems can be solved by the tele banking so telephone banking is a service provided by the bank or other financial institutions that enables customers to perform financial transaction over the telephone without the need to visit bank so you need not to visit the bank just call me through your mobile phone or telephone we can ask the bank regarding the information or it may be purchase of sale of share through bank and also payment of insurance premium or payment of any other bills so you can directly call to the bank and you can get the service from tele banking next one internet banking what do you mean by internet banking so through mail we can also send for request if you want to open a bank account through mail you can we can get the bank account service if you want any credit card or if you want to want any debit card you can mail to the bank so that you can get the debit card and credit card if you want the loan facility also that also you can do through internet so online banking is a facility that allows customers to conduct financial transactions on the bank's website so every bank will be having their own website in the internet so if you visit that website you can get the information regarding the bank or if you get the in, what are the service the bank will provide and how the banks will you know take care of their customers and what are the new service or new you no know, technology or advanced development happening the in that particular bank and what is the actual interest rate for the loan what they are providing it may be housing loan or it may be education loan or it may be other vehicle loan every information if you go to the bank web website you will get the all information without there is a need for going to the bank in person and asking the information so directly going to the website you can get all the information through internet banking and nowadays you are having in your mobile phone only you have internet you can open the bank you no know, website so you can get all the information related to a particular bank or it may be branch office of the bank next one a customer must register with the bank for the service and the set up some password for customers verification online banking can be used to check balance transfer money shop online pay bills etc so now every bank will be having their own mobile app and also website if you are having a canara bank account so bank will provide a canara bank you now website or also canara bank mobile app so using the canara bank mobile app you can also transfer the fund it's like beam app or it may be google pay every bank will be having its own private bank app and also they will provide the password anyone cannot use the mobile app so they will give any secret password to use the mobile bank and that password and also that no particular app will be linked to your account so whatever the transaction you do by using that mobile app it may be payment 
or maybe you no know, purchase or sale like that through using the mobile phone and also by visiting the website of the bank you can get all the information it's like what are the facilities you can get by using the website or e-banking or internet banking or you may be check the balance you can transfer money you can shop online it may be you know for example amazon purchase of from our purchasing from the flipkart so any transaction we can do through the internet banking and also if you want to ask loan for the bank and what is the rate of interest and how the repayment of loan what are the procedure or which type of loan are available in the bank it may be vehicle loan housing loan or any other education purpose so this information can easily can easily get from the online banking system or internet banking system next one bank assurance what do you mean by bank assurance see bank assurance means a bank will tie up with another insurance company so for example if a insurance company go to the customer they may not accept the insurance company if the insurance company go through the bank the bank will tie up with the insurance company and that will offer the insurance facility to the customers of the bank though then the insurance company customers also becomes the customers of the bank and bank's customers also will becomes the customers of the insurance company it is like win win situation for both the insurance company and the bank so through bank the bank will provide in order to reach the customer more customers bank the bank will provide other types of facility like insurance so how it can provide the insurance facility by tying up with other insurance companies bank will provide the insurance facility to its customers so instead of only providing the bank account bank also provide additional services like insurance it may be vehicle insurance or it may be you no know, life insurance any types of insurance the insurance company will you now tie up with the banking sector and through banks they will attract the customers so by it means delivery of insurance products through banking channels so if you if the insurance company directly go to the customers the customers may reject the insurance company so what they will do they will go through the bank so bank is a reputed institution so customer can believe the bank so the insurance company will go through the bank so they will get the security so they will get they will be backed by the banking you know goodwill of the bank that's why insurance company will go through the bank next one mobile banking so you know i think i need not to explain this point because you know what are the facilities you are getting through the mobile phone itself so mobile banking means the mobile banking is a system that allows customers of a financial institutions to conduct a number of financial transactions through the mobile device so it allows the customers to bank any time anywhere through their mobile phone so i already explained you through mobile phone the bank will provide mobile phone app separately for usage of the customers so through using the mobile phone app so you can directly link to the bank it may be transaction so fund transfer from your account to you know others account or it may be if you go to any store if you want to purchase the articles so the directly using the mobile phone app you can pay the amount so like this type of facility provided by the bank by mobile banking next point dmat banking what do you mean by dmat banking what do you mean by dmat account in order to purchase the securities if you want to purchase the securities or stock you should be having a dmat account so earlier so some stock exchange companies were providing the dmat account but nowadays the banks also providing dmat account so if you want to no sell or purchase any security you should be having a separate dmat account so you cannot sell the securities or purchase the shares and debentures or maybe it may be preference share or it may be equity shares it may be debentures so any stock exchange activity can be done through dmat account but without dmat account you cannot perform this activity so earlier the other stock brokers were providing the dmat account facility nowadays it may be sbi it may be canara bank or any other private ba banks are also providing the dmat account facility so what is the usage of dmat account facility by our bank actual bank account we can transfer the amount from the bank account to dmat account and we can invest in the shares later if any profit you no know, if you get any profit again you have to transfer the amount from your dmat account to actual or bank account so that's why we need the dmat bank account so nowadays bank also providing the dmat account facility so the customer who wants to invest in stock market or shares and stock 
needs to maintain his accounts with the commercial bank so you have to open separate bank account called dmat account so through dmat account that dmat account will be linked to your actual bank account so by linking the dmat account to bank account you can easily transact money or invest any amount in the shares and debentures next one the customers needs to pay certain annual charges to maintenance maintain of this type of bank or dmat account so in order to for example if you want to open an ordinary account bank will give the interest isn't it so because you are depositing amount in the bank but in order to open the dmat account you have to pay some commission to the bank for maintaining of the dmat account next one for maintaining the this type of accounts you have to pay some commission to the banks now what do you mean by electronic clearing house it is a mode of electronic fund transfer from one bank account to another bank account so this is also one of the channel of transacting money from one bank account to another bank account but this type of service can be used by big industrialists or big corporates or it may be big companies to pay the salary from one account to different types of several accounts so by using the electronic clearing services the banks or the or the big companies or the big employers will provide the salary it may be payment of electronic bill or it may be payment of electrical electricity bill or it may be telephone bill so there those type of bills can be easily transferred from one account to several accounts at a time that is called as electronic clearing house next one using the service of a clearing house this is normally of bulk transfer from one account to many accounts or vice versa from many accounts to one account or from one accounts to many accounts this type of service can be used to transfer the amount from one account to several accounts or from different types of many accounts to one account we can easily transfer money from using the electronic clearing house this can be used for both for making payments like distribution of dividends interest salary and pension for example dividends dividend is distributed by or given by the big corporate sectors or it may be big industrialists or big companies to its shareholders there are lot of shareholders there are thousands of shareholders so the one company will be having single account from single accounts they can distribute dividend for the several accounts it is what electronic clearing house next one interest also so if you want to pay the interest for the loan what you got from the different shareholders or different you no know, lenders so we can also pay the interest to other accounts next one salary also so one person will pay the salary the employees will be there will be hundreds of employees several employees so at a single time we can also transfer the money from one company to other so many salary accounts next one pension also the government of india or it may be any company or it may be any you know, institution has to pay the pension so pension holders will be several in number or it may be hundreds in number so one account will transfer hundreds pension accounts at a single time this type of facility can be used for distribute the amount or distribute the salary from one account to several accounts next point electronic fund transfer or national electronic fund transfer or nift so what do you mean by the nift so this system or this type of schemes will be operated and controlled by the rbi and this under this scheme or under this system the bank will transfer the fund in batch wise for example in you know, 10 will be there in a batch or 100 transaction or 1000 transaction so it takes some time until 100 or 1000 transaction and immediately all the transaction happens in a single transfer so under this scheme individuals firms and corporate can electronically transfer funds from any bank branch to any individual or it may be firm or it may be corporate having an account with any other bank branch in the country participating in this scheme so if the for example if any individual or it may be firms or it may be corporate sector so any type of body which is participating in this type of scheme can easily transfer the amount from one account to another account 
for but that another account should also be a participator of the nift then only they can transfer the amount usually this type of scheme will be used for bulk transaction of the amount and also this type of scheme can or, or operates on the base of batch wise from until batch wise it will hold all the transaction till certain you know, transaction happens once the 100 transaction or 500 transaction happens automatically the all transactions will be all or all the amount will be transferred from one account to another account and this type of schemes is usually regulated by the RBI. The funds are transferred based on deferred net settlement that's what so the batch wise the fund will be transferred next one in which there are 11 settlements in a week so in a week they, they will give the transaction for 11 settlements and in Saturdays there will be only 5 settlements so in Saturdays they will provide 5 settlement and in weekdays they will provide the 11 settlements it will be huge settlements in nature let's go to the real time gross settlement what do you mean by that so it is also called as RTGS so unlike the in EFT or NEFT the RTGS will transfer the amount it is in a real time so when the transaction happens at the same time the amount will be transferred immediately so it will not wait till the batch will happen so the in the gross settlement system or real time gross settlement system it can be defined as the continuous real time settlement of the funds transactions individually on an order by order basis so every for every order immediately the money will be transferred from one account to another account usually for the you know, throughout the country or maybe foreign orders will be there foreign payments will be there so but in this system what is the drawback of this system means once the money is transferred the money cannot be recoverable so this is the drawback of this system but it is very very fastest type of transaction happens in the banking system this is one of the fastest or real time transaction happens in the banking system the processing of the instructions at a time they are received rather than at some later time so unlike the NIFT the later it will wait for the later frame till the one batch is completed then only the amount will be transferred but in RTGS the immediately when the once the transfer is happened once the order has come from the customer immediately the amount will be transferred from the account to several accounts both are same from one account to several accounts the amount will be transferred but the NIFT will wait for certain batch but the RTGS will not wait to complete the batch the immediately whenever the transaction happened the amount will be transferred from one account to different or several accounts immediately next point phone pay what do you mean by phone pay you will be having phone pay account in your mobile phone a phone pay that means one pay for all your payments from utility bills mobiles dth recharge sending and requesting money to paying your credit card bill and insurance premium so for any transaction it may be dth service or it may be you know requesting for money from your friend or it may be it may be mobile recharge or payment of any bill it may be electrical bill or it may be water bill so any transaction you can do using the phone pay mobile app so the phone pay mobile app you have to install the mobile app and then you have to connect the mobile app to your bank account with some password later you have to transfer amount from the bank account to your phone pay account then you can use the mobile app it is completely secured and also it will be having some other bank you know, it will be having connection or it may be having contract with the other bank through using bank facility the phone pay will operate next one your bank account is all you need so if you have a bank account it is enough to have this app and also to use this type of app service next one just link your bank account to the phone pay app and make hassles free secure payments directly from your bank to any other bank or it may be any individual or it may be any purchase of or sale of products and service so it is a 24 bar 7 service anytime all time money is available for you or all all time transaction is available for you 
by using the phone pay app it is just like a it's very secured or it may be any time you can use the this type of particular app by using mobile phone app you can easily pay the dts facility it may be any other service or it may be other mobile recharge so so many lot of service are available under the phone pay app the next point is beam or barth interface for money so this is the one of the important mobile phone app and also online or internet transaction facility backed by the government of india and this beam mobile phone or mobile payment app developed by national payment corporation of india so npca has developed this you know, app to utilize throughout the country during the lockdown period so this type of you no know, online payment scheme as backed by the government and provide throughout the country based on the unified payments interface see all your mobile phone apps which you which we are using for the payment or it may be receiving the money and working under the upi number so this is very very important so for every transaction for every app and for every you no know, bank account they will be having upi numbers on the base of upi number mechanism or it may be google pay or it may be phone pay or it may be you no know, beam or it may be any other banking app are working under the upi named after b r ambedkar and launched on 30th december 2016 so the beam means beam rao ambedkar on the name of b we they have started the beam app mobile phone app next one it is intended to facilitate e payments so electronic payments through online or it may be using your mobile phone through internet directly through banks as part of the 2016 indian bank note demonetization and drive towards the cashless transaction the government intention is to so why they did the demonetization to reduce the cash transaction in the country and also to bring down the corruption what is happening in the country so in order to bring down the corruption in order to bring down the cash based economy so the government of india so did the demonetization and also they brought the beam app to develop or to encourage the customers to use the online payment which is secured and also which is corrupt free next one google pay so it is also one of it is also called as g pay so nowadays it is called as g pay but it is introduced as google pay by the google company this is also one of the mobile phone app where you can transfer the funds from one bank to another bank or also from one person to another person's bank account so formally pay with google and android pay it is digital wallet platform and online payment system developed by the google to pro to power in app and tap to pay purchase on mobile devices enabling users to make payments with android phones tablets or watches it may be you no know, android watches you will be having tablets you will be having phones you will be having by using the upi unified so here so you will be having unified payments interface also linked to the gpay it may be any apps they are they are linked to upi separate no number or it may be unique number this unique number is in, linked to your bank account also with the google pay or it may be phone pay or it may be any other transaction app by using this kind of facility we can easily do the online payment which is secure and it also which is corrupt free and also cashless economy we can develop in the country so in the next session we are going to discuss on insurance introduction to insurance and what are the types of insurance this type of question they will ask so this whatever the points we have discussed all 13 uh, you can also add more points what are the new development happening in the bank and what are the new technologies happening in the bank and what are the new you know service provided by the banks in the advanced economy to in the current world so you can add more points you can write if they asked for 15 marks you can write more than 15 marks so even though if one or two points which is not right so you may lose for two marks or three marks remaining marks you can easily get up to if you write if they ask for 15 marks you can write more than 15 marks so then only you can get out of 
15 out of 15. Now, in the next session, we are going to discuss on insurance. What is the insurance? What are the history of insurance? And what are the types of insurance we will be discussing in the next session? Till then, thank you so much. Thank you for watching.